Welcome to A Twin Flame Journey. I'm Aura, and this is a podcast on Twin Flames. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I remember lying in my mother's hospital bed during her last weeks of life, and even before when I was solely taking care of her on my own, and how energetically and soulfully defeated I had felt. How I just wanted to fight everything happening. I wanted to stop everything happening. And even more, I just wanted to go back to how everything was. But I was only creating more resistance for the future and who I was truly meant to become. My twin flame. My reunion depended on all of these external occurrences in order for the inevitable, the ascension, and the shedding of the old version of self that no longer was meant to sustain, but rather make room for the new. We are all meant to soulfully live this lifetime and fulfill our soul contracts. So when the tower falls, when your deepest fears happen, And you are left with not knowing your future, where or what you should be doing, but rather just allow things to unfold instead of trying to control it all. You gain a lot of momentum. You gain a lot of spiritual courage and strength through it all. Your twin flame never leaves you. And your twin flame is always there during these crucial experiences as you face the creator, the divine God. You face your fears and you face the truth of who you are. Your twin flame no longer runs from you during this ascension, but spiritually reminds you of their presence, that they are with you. So don't think for one moment that they have forgotten you in any way. Detach from the physical responses of your twin flame and allow the divine to guide you. Only then there is no more running, no more chasing, and no more trying to control. You will never need to control anything because you don't control what already exists. So as you follow the unconditional version of your soulful heart, that is where your twin flame lives without conditions, without attachments, and without repercussions of their responses out of fear. There's no judgment and no shame. There's only letting go of how your reunion will occur, how the divine will reunite you, and the rest does not matter. Don't hold tightly, but rather release the vision of a mold you place your twin flame in, and even yourself. Set yourself free from conditioning how your twin flame should behave or not behave. There are no rules of engagement when it comes to a soul journey. Letting go is one of the greatest gifts you will ever give to yourself. So I hope that this assisted many of you out there. Until next time, I'm Aura and this is A Twin Flame Journey.